When do you choose a fire hose over a garden hose? Well, when you require fast delivery of high volume water, you're gonna go with the bigger hose. Well, let's see how that relates to moving bulk material with an air sweep. Hi, Paul the Air Sweep Guy, back here to talk about volume, specifically compressed air volume required to run the air sweep system. Over the years, clients will ask me, why do we need such large pipes to run the air sweep system? We have 100 PSI out by the silo, we've got airlines, why do we need to install headers and have air receivers? And that's when I bring out my garden hose, fire hose analogy. Garden hose is great to blow a little dirt and leaves off the sidewalk, but a fire hose can knock somebody off their feet because of the volume that comes out. I put a little demo together using my Riverstone, showing the difference between garden hose and fire hose volume. Let's take a look. This river gravel has a bulk density of about 100 pounds per cubic foot, so it doesn't move too easily. You can see that the force of water coming out of the three quarter inch hose isn't doing too much to disturb the pile. Now the volume of water has been quadrupled in this inch and a half pipe, so the force is also really increased and it easily displaces the stones. Okay, let's get this cleaned up. I'm gonna set up the air sweeps and we're gonna see how volume affects their performance with the same material. Okay, we're all set up for the next demo. So the last demo we used water running through two different pipe sizes, the three quarter inch and the large inch and a half. And we saw that through the three quarter inch, the water really did not displace the river stone very much at all. We switched out to the inch and a half running at the same pressure and it displaced the stone with relative ease. So now we're gonna try the same thing using compressed air and the model VA51 air sweep. So this is our two inch model. It actually runs off an inch and a half solenoid valve. So normally it would be piped up with an inch and a half line and inch and a half or two inch header pipe back to a air receiver for volume. It moves a lot of volume in quarter second bursts. That's where it gets its power from the volume. So now we're gonna actually pipe it up with a quarter inch shop line. We're gonna run it at 100 PSI. We're gonna run this shop line directly into the inch and a half solenoid valve. So let's see what it does with reduced volume. Same pressure, but reduced volume. After that, we'll switch it back to the big inch and a half and we'll pipe it back through the uh, air receiver and we'll see if there's a difference. So let's do it. So running off the shop line with reduced volume, you can see that the air sweep's pulsing, but it's not moving a lot of material. It's not more than a couple inches. It still has a lot of pressure, so there's velocity coming out of the nozzle, but it doesn't have the volume. It doesn't have the power that we want to see. And as you can see, it only pushed the material a couple inches at most. So the shop line really didn't have the volume to push that pile anywhere. It had velocity from 100 PSI, but no volume in a quarter inch line to really move the pile. There's no power there. So now we're gonna hook up the inch and a half line up to the air receiver with big header pipe in between. That's gonna provide some volume to the air sweep. And let's look at the difference right now. So running at full volume, it takes only one pulse from the air sweep to completely clear the pile of wet rocks from the table. Let's look at it again. Wow, with the addition of more pipe volume, the difference in clearing power goes from three inches to more than three feet. That deserves another look. Well, you can see when you add volume to the pressure, you generate a lot of power out of the air sweep. So as always, if you have any questions, you want more information about air sweeps, visit our website at airsweepsystems.com. Until next time, I'm Paul the Air Sweep Guy saying, pump up the volume and keep it flowing.